hello everyone it's don's graphics here thanks for joining us welcome back to the channel in this tutorial i will be showing you how to design a birthday flyer with the help of your smartphone using pixel app please if you are coming across the channel for the first time like this video and subscribe to the channel for more other amazing videos okay um we're going to begin this design straight away without wasting much of your time so let's get to to work okay i'm going to just go to the default pixel app so this is pixel app if you love this pixel app uh, this version of pixel app you want it just indicate in the comment section below i will share it with you asap okay now i'm deleting this image this text we don't need it and after doing that you want to go to background setting so click on background setting and on background setting you want to click from gallery so i'm going to import the background i'm using for this we are using for this design from the gallery then you click on your check mark and you have this background now if you look at this background um it's kind of a square size though no issues at all but then the background looks so plain so let's make the background busy now when your background is busy it uh, helps uh, it helps uh, to add some extra beauty to your design so always making your background to have some distractive elements helps your design to stand out and that is why we're going to go now to this uh, other button here and i'm going to go to import first of all now i have this pattern with me it's um just kind of a pattern we're going to just uh, you know increase this in size and after increasing it in size use little position to make sure that it's on the middle now go to opacity in order to blend this uh, pattern with the background just go to opacity and reduce the opacity but then guys all of the elements i'm using for this design are attached on the video description i get repetitive comments from um, you guys always asking for where the resources are where the resources are please always watch the video to the very end and also check the description because sometimes um all the elements we use are included in the video description okay so with this one now after achieving this what we're going to do is to go to opacity click on opacity and reduce the opacity so can you see how it's blending with the background All right and so that's what we want to achieve so somewhat around five percent we're going to leave it at five percent then now you want to go to layer which is here to lock this element okay lock this pattern element why are we logging this especially for the beginners you lock this element to avoid it from displacing when you bring other elements okay so when you are using uh, pixel app it's always important to lock your elements once you are done with it as we have done it right now okay now the next thing is to bring in another um another element so we are bringing this uh, other element here okay so the choice for this element is because it has some traces of blue color and the background also has some blue uh, colors as well so what we're going to do is just to size this up also uh, you know just size it up neatly use little position to make sure that it's on the middle then you want to go to opacity now and reduce the opacity of this also so we can reduce the opacity until 10 10 percent it's good and you now lock it up okay now that we are done with uh, the preparation work on our background it's time for us to bring in the element we are using or the image of the birthday uh, lady so we're going to go now to import and um, like i said i'm leaving these images with you in the video description so just get it from there and for this particular one we're going to crop it here neatly okay just crop it neatly just crop it this way okay now we have this uh bring it to focus then use lazy position and make sure that it's centralized to the middle you can shift it down a bit okay um all right good so this is fine just go to layer and lock it up also as well like i said now guys what we're going to do is to go to this button and um we're going to add a shape select a circle then let's go give it um, this intermediate blue color we're using this color okay 
then uh, just reduce the, sh the, the, the shape let's reduce the shape in size make it a little bit smaller position it neatly in this way okay and um i think let's reduce it reduce it further good now go to your new text and write so we're writing happy birthday okay then um go to your fonts and write we are using the roxford sans light font as usual but then we're going to change the color of this to the dark blue so it can be visible enough then we reduce this text in size um let's reduce this let's check the size guys so let's leave it to size 25 and um go to rotate to curve which is here this is your curve button so i'm going to curve this text inwards uh, let's just say by 50 percent for now then use your position button to adjust this text properly let's go and uh, curve it again to 60 percent all right then what we're going to do is to copy the text and after copying it go to rotate rotate it this way bring it here so as you are rotating it just be checking all right then let's copy it again rotate it So you have to be um, using your position button here guys as well okay to make use just make use of your position button to make sure that uh, the text are positioned just at the right place okay good so we have um this text now we've curved it around the shape but then we're not going to leave it that way we are still going to go to new text and write the date which is on the 10th of july sorry that this birthday had already passed but then it's just a fictional flyer though so let's change the color of this into the dark blue color also then going to a font we are going to use a font called olivia sans boat and then you can still use any other fonts here there are no worries at all okay um let's reduce the line spacing guys 10th july So we are reducing the line spacing to make sure that uh, the text is positioned properly. Now, after achieving this, the next thing we are going to do is to uh, bring in, you know, bring in the name of the birthday uh, celebrant. But before we do that, let's just go to this uh, image. 
and do some adjustments let's use relative position once more okay then um we're going to push this up So this should be up good and after our achieving this the next thing we're going to do is to go now to new text and write glorious birthday then we bring it here let's use the same um, dark blue color but then go to your fonts and um, Let's check which font can work here. So we're using the Olivia Sans still. The Olivia Sans font still. Okay, let's break this into two lines. Then I'll go to your line spacing and reduce the line spacing a bit. So we have glorious birthday. But then it's also important to you know write the name of the lady so that's why i'm going to go now and write jennifer jennifer so jennifer is celebrating her birthday and of course we're going to check which color can work here uh, let's first of all use the dark blue then we go to our font we're using um a script font called taken by vulture so it's taken by Vacha. We are going to increase it in size. Okay. But another, after increasing it in size, we discover that there are some paddling issues. So that's why I'm going to go to paddling. Paddling means part of the text is hidden. Now, if you look at this letter J, it is not showing completely. And that is what we mean by paddling. Okay. It usually occurs mostly for script fonts. So I'm going to go to paddling and increase the right paddling because the text was hiding to the um to the left right good um let's reduce this in size a bit then we'll position it here okay good so we have glorious birthday jennifer now after achieving all of this um let's try to shift it let this downward okay Let's shift this downwards. So I have glorious birthday, Jennifer. Now for the name Jennifer, you can uh, leave it at with this color, this same dark blue, or you can as well use the intermediate blue here, like this one. Whichever works for you, it's okay. But I think we are cool with this uh, dark uh, blue color. Now, after achieving all of this, we are going to go now to import once again. So, I'm going to import um, a ton paper. We are going to be making use of some ton paper elements here. So, I have this with me here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit. Then, we reduce it in size. Okay. Then, rotate it neatly position it here make sure it's on the middle then we are going to go to color we are going to go now to color and give it this uh, intermediate blue as I can put it so we have uh, this and this is where we are going to bring in the wishes so I'm going to go to new text and write joy what is another wish you, you have for Jennifer? So we have peace. Okay. Uh, blessing. Okay. Whatever wishes you have for blessings, type it on the comment. Okay. Then we have favor. Now, guys, there is one thing I've been telling you. One of the easiest ways to understand my tutorials is by subscribing. Yeah, you got me right. If you don't subscribe, you won't be understanding my videos. So please subscribe so that you can always understand okay once you subscribe drop a comment so i will know that you have subscribed like the video as well and check all of these resources in the down description box below now we're changing the color also of these uh, wishes into the dark blue color
but then we're going to go to a font and i'm using a font called roxford sand slide okay just to be kind of coherent or just to be uh, consistent with our choice of fonts i don't want to be changing fonts too much so um go to line spacing and you know touch the line spacing a bit then we can even increase this in size So let's let's leave it this way line spacing is at uh, minus six now use lazy position to make sure it's on the middle but then you want to go to your styles which is here so click on styles let's make that text to stand out so click on on bold and it will be bold now after achieving all of this we are not done yet we're going to put in some finishing touches now into our design so how can we do that um what we're going to do is to go to your draw tool all right go to draw tool now if you are someone who have already subscribed to the channel you understand that most of our previous videos have been showing you how to draw and that is why i say those who subscribe to this channel always understand the videos right because they are consistent now what we're going to do is to go to draw uh go to draw tool so i'm just going to make some beautiful uh elements down here all right um let's do it let me just undo now when you draw by error like i just did you can undo it here right just undo it here now reduce the smoothness completely then let's lift the pen size by just 10 and neatly position your finger across the screen anyway so um let me just do this quickly right i believe you can now see this perfect but then we're going to change the color into this also let's change the color um okay good so let's go and change the color into this right can you see that then rotate this this neatly position it here and uh, place it here this way now after placing it this way go to opacity and reduce the opacity can you see that awesome beautiful good so let's just shift it this way good perfect now um let's touch the opacity a bit again leaving it to just about uh, 35 percent i think it's fine okay good this is exactly why you must subscribe to this channel guys because this is the end of the video we make it very straight to the point without wasting any of your time so that's it guys for this birthday design you cannot save your work as png and as ultra it will automatically be saved to your device like i said if you want this uh, pixel app version that i'm using indicate in the comment section i'll share it with you subscribe to the channel to understand our videos if you don't subscribe Mm, i doubt you're gonna understand these videos so just subscribe and make sure that you like this particular video okay um drop your comments telling us where you're watching from and also let us know which tutorial you would love us to do in our next uh class thank you so much for watching the video i'm hoping to see you in our next tutorial thank you so much god bless you it's dance graphics